I don't know how many of you are interested in this, but in this video, we're going to be exploring Royal Caribbean's Icon of the Seas. board for about 30 seconds and first impression it is pretty impressive and we're only in like the, the royal promenade in the mall it's amazing. Oh my gosh this room is amazing hey what are you already doing in here i just walked in she's already in that wasn't staged so okay nice. so this is the first time we're seeing our cabin on icon of the seas Nice little balcony. Okay, let's uh, let's come to the other side of the room. Oh, robes. Lots of chargers. This is great. Okay, and let's have a quick look. Oh. All right, now it's time to go explore. Okay, this video is going to be a little disjointed, but we have just dropped our bags, unpacked. Now we're walking out to the water park and we're gonna try and uh, hit up some water slides on the very first day. We gotta, gotta hit the ground running or we're never gonna see the entire ship in the week that we're on it. You excited? Yes. They have the water slides with the big rafts that we can go down together. You guys are gonna see that if I can sneak the camera on. There was no cameras allowed, so I was trying to be sneaky and only starting the camera after we had already gone down the slide. Did you like it? Yes, it was really fun. And you were laughing a lot. I was laughing and screaming. It's amazing how much of our time is going to be spent in here. It's a nice warm area. You like this? I love hot tubs. That pool that we were just in was a lot colder than this, so we're going to stay here for a while. Bubbles are going, it feels good. So right now we're just hustling around trying to do everything everything that we can on the first day and we're just kind of jumping from pool to pool to hot tub to hot tub okay, uh, we're going to one more pool before we have to shower and then get ready and we're meeting some friends at that bar behind me for a couple of drinks later uh, I guess I should say that there will be running um, tomorrow morning I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna run so uh, if you're here for the running which you probably are stay tuned there definitely will be some of that I think this is some kind of lap pool we're going to. We got showered after the swim. We are getting ready to sail away. The party's just getting started over my back. And I'll probably catch up with you in the morning when I go for a run. I hope I can get up early enough. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. You know it's the next day already. We had a great time last night. Uh, it's about it's about five o'clock right now. So I'm gonna head down to the Pearl, the Pearl Cafe. And I'm going to see about getting some coffee. I think this is going to be the best time to show you guys this part of the ship. Obviously because I'm probably the only one up. Well, Harmony's already up. But um, let's go down there and get some coffee and then we'll check in a bit later. You know, I'm actually going to go out through Central Park and then down the stairway into the Pearl. I think this is going to be a good way. If I, it's a little too dark to show you Central Park. But basically this is a park that goes through the center of the ship. And I think I'll have to come back in the daytime because this is just horrible. Okay, this is the Pearl, that's, uh, that's Harmony right over there. And then this is just wide open, big windows that you can sit in front of and watch the sea go by. It obviously looks a lot better in the daytime. This is the coffee station. Now you can go and get an actual coffee made. There are coffee machines that you can go and actually make it yourself. But this is coffee on tap and this is what I'm most excited for. Coffee, decaf, and then all the accoutrements. Good morning. Hi, this is so nice. Did you get coffee? I got coffee. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> This is something that you guys have to actually see. So right now I'm inside the Pearl and the acoustics are just brilliant. But each little panel, there's like, I don't know, 
10,000 panels inside the pearl and they're kind of moving like a wave so it looks like oh they're moving like a wave and there's a light between each individual panel and it looks like the pearl is shimmering as the light and the panels rotate and kind of flex in and out it's it's absolutely beautiful this is the main dining room so we're on the top level right now and then there are two more levels going down it's all just very beautiful with a big lovely chandelier right in the middle okay harmony and i are well coffeed now even though i really don't feel like it we are going to the gym and then finally finally on this running channel we are going to actually get some running in on the track so uh, stay tuned for that uh-oh i hope we don't get in trouble for breaking into the fitness center 20 minutes early this gym is absolutely amazing. I think maybe, not just all the equipment, which is fantastic, but I think it's the high ceilings that make it just a phenomenal gym. And all the weights smell brand new. It's, it's pretty sweet. All right, just finished that workout. That was pretty difficult so early in the morning and being on vacation. Now I came down to the track and the track is just like on other ships, it circles like the promenade deck. I haven't seen anything how long it is, but we're gonna do a couple laps and see how far we run. I've got the watches set to treadmill with my foot pod attached to my shoe, so uh, let's get this one. I haven't seen one other person on the track yet, but the track is so big that they could be on the other side. Uh, so far, so good, this is nice. How many is just coming up on me, she lapped me once. So one kilometer is one and a half laps. One mile is 2.4 laps, so it's a big track. And that's a wrap, 8.1 miles on our first day on Icon of the Seas. This track is absolutely fantastic. It is so good that it's so long. It's like, it doesn't feel like you're totally running around in circles all the time. So I think we're gonna go get showered and then it might be breakfast time and maybe to the pool quickly before breakfast. Come on. Uh, this is the real us. This is how we roll when we're not running. Right now we're out on a walkabout looking for a pool. And I see a pool a in front of me. Pool. Yes, we want a, a cold pool for like a cold plunge. I'm looking at this pool in front of me. It's closed. So let's go up here. A little cold swim before breakfast and then and then we'll get the day started. Like eight o'clock, I can't believe that no one hot tub. What's that? Cold swim and then hot tub. Oh yeah. Hot tub always comes next. It's like this is some kind of rock climbing wall. I'll come back and do that a little later when it's open. So also nothing's open at this time. That's probably why everyone's still asleep. Okay, yeah, uh, before we get in the pool, I just wanted to show you this. So to get from this deck down there, we Oh, it's closed. Is everything closed in the morning? All right, I'll show you that later on. So I'm sure you all saw this yesterday when I was actually on the slide, but behind me we have the mini golf, and then this is like the, this is the water park area, and there are just, it looks really good at this time of the morning. It looks like the adult area is open, open for business. So we are gonna go and get in, I guess we might just get in the hot tub because it looks like the pool here is closed too. Okay, it finally looks like we have found the only pool that's open at this time of the morning. And it's this, this little lap pool. So this is where we're going to do a couple laps and then, uh, then we'll get in the hot tub. Okay, uh, we didn't stay in very long, but uh, now we're going in the hot tub because the air is freezing once you're wet. It's <laughs> better. It's a lot different in the daylight, huh? Okay, look at this uh, this sculpture right up above me. It's a big whale. They have artwork all over the ship. These windows are absolutely fantastic. Sitting here having your coffee. Now we're on our way to meet some friends. I think we're gonna play trivia. And uh, I'm, inside, I'm inside that big dome. And again, the acoustics are fantastic. And you know what, they've got some sound pumping in here. It's kind of like the ocean, so the pearl is kind of rippling as that ocean sound plays. It's pretty good. Okay, so I think with the crew, like just shy of 10,000 people can be on this ship, which you would think is insane. But we are now 10 a.m. and look at the crowds. There are hardly any people around. This ship is so well designed that it never seems crowded. 
unless you're in the buffet like when as soon as it opens in the morning for breakfast that was pretty busy but we had no problem finding a seat so really can't complain it's a beautiful ship guys so now i'm going to do something called the crown's edge or edge of the crown or something like that so on the side of royal caribbean ships we have their logo the crown and anchor and there's something about walking out onto the the side of it on the outside of it so there's nothing beneath you but ocean and you're all strapped in so it's totally safe but that's what i'm going to do now it's a new thing on this ship that is it right in front of me right up there so i think we're going to be walking along that little bridge and then out around the outside of it i won't be able to bring a camera with me but i think uh, my wife will get some footage with a phone so let's see how to get up there there's my crew <laughs> this is it up here you see this you walk along and then around the outside to there So we have been on board now for a little bit. Now we are trying to methodically go through the ship so to make sure we see everything because it is an enormous ship. We are going to start at the bottom and we're going to work our way up and we are going to look at absolutely everything on the ship just so we know that we don't miss a thing. So we're starting on deck three. The only thing below us on deck two is the gangway and the medical center and I'm going to keep away from the medical center and things have gone very bad for me if I end up do seeing the medical center. But right now on deck three we have the music hall and it looks like this is a, a bar and they have live music in here. And right now we've just come in on its on bingo day. So I don't think we're gonna do that right now, but this is where bingo is happening. Pretty cool venue. And it looks like it's two stories. So there's another story of it right up there. Okay, I was mistaken. The medical center is actually right here. So I actually get to see outside the medical center. Oh, it's only patients that are allowed inside. So the medical center is on deck three. And now we have the Royal Theater, but the Royal Theatre is closed for rehearsals right now, but we're gonna be in there for a couple of shows over the week, so we're not too worried about seeing that. Okay, now we're going down to the casino, Casino Royale. Oh, there's an escalator on the ship. Now, I'm pretty sure we are not allowed to film in the casino, but I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna make a lot of money, and then I will check you on the backside. So we're leaving the casino. I lost everything. Harmony here tripled what she started with. So I guess if we're together, we are both winners, but really I lost everything. And Harmony won big. $33. <laughs> hey, it's still something. $33 is still something. Let's, uh, let's go see something else. Okay, we are all the way down on deck three, the lowest deck. This is the conference center. Looks like any other conference center anywhere in the world. Moving on. So as we are walking around looking at every single venue on the Icon of the Seas, we also have this sheet. And on this sheet has a list of all the nations of all the employees on the ship. There are over 78 nations and we have to find someone from each nation and then check off on the list that we found them. We've also got to find all the officers, including the captain, the hotel director, the cruise director. But right now we're going to the cafe because we heard that there is a woman from Korea that works there. And I think she's the only one on the ship from South Korea. So we're going to find out shortly. Oh, I think Harmony's found her. Uh -oh. You're special. Very much. I'm the celebrity yeah. on board. Yeah. We're walking through Playmakers, which is the sports bar on the ship. And now we're at Absolute Zero. Absolute Zero is the ice rink. We will be coming back here for a show. So I might get a little footage just to show you what the ice show looks like. But oh, what a what a venue. It looks like they're getting ready to play Truth or Consequences. I don't think we're going to stay for that today. So we just came out from the Royal Promenade and now we are at Surfside. Now this is Surfside, this is an entire neighborhood on the ship for children. It looks absolutely fantastic. The band is setting up. There is different like restaurants up here. So, and there's a carousel and another water park down here just for kids. So if you are thinking of bringing your kids on this cruise, this is a good area to like, I don't know, drop the kids and then go off and do some adult stuff. Or you can hang out here. There seems to be a lot of adults here with their kids. It all looks pretty fantastic. So just quickly, we're in the Surfside Eatery and we have lots of food that kids love. So chicken nuggets shaped as an animal, french fries, burgers, 
mashed potato and we got these mini pizzas right here and then of course dessert but who doesn't love dessert my wife just signed us up for the carousel um in the kids area but there was only two places left and they're not together so right now i am a grown man riding a carousel without a partner or a child i'm still gonna have fun that was fun thank you uh, i was on the pink flamingo with the ice cream hat I love it. <laughs> One last thing on this kitty area, you can see them all having a great time here. But behind me, this is the townhouse suite. And you can see this stairway, it's a private stairway and a slide that comes down. And then the townhouse is several layers above. This suite back here costs $80,000 a week. So if you have a spare $80,000 lying around and you want to come on the Icon of the Seas, you could come and stay here for a week. All right, I wanted to show you earlier how there's a slide instead of stairs. Well, I found another slide instead of stairs, and that's how we're going to go back down the stairs that we just came up. I just found out there's a weight limit, and I am over the weight limit, but we're going to watch Harmony do it. Was it fun? So if anyone's wondering, the weight limit is 176 pounds. I weigh more than that, so no slide for me. Okay, I know you've already seen it, but this is Central Park. It's a lot better in the daytime. There are lots of restaurants, lots of retail spaces, several bars. It is a really solid place to just come and sit outside. There is a lovely breeze that kind of comes down from the upstairs. It's open and you can hear the music thumping from the pool deck. It's not really thumping, it's just kind of like background thumping, you know what I mean? I think we're gonna run inside and get a quick snack. So right now we are in the Aquadome, which is a new feature on the Icon class of ships. It's a giant covered area and they have water shows in here. You can see the, the performers getting ready to rehearse for tonight's performance. And I don't think we're going tonight, but we are going to the show here a little later in the week. The bottom of the pool rises and lowers depending on what they're doing with the pool. So it can rise and be a dry surface or it can drop right down and be super deep so the high divers can jump off the platform. Oh, look at this. Look at these pods. If you have looked at anything uh, on the Icon ship online, then you have seen these pods. They're kind of standalone pods in the Aquadome. And we're coming up the stairs to see if anyone's up there. This is where it's at. This view. This is like the best uh, sitting area on the entire ship, I think. What do you think? It's gorgeous. And now we have moved just a little bit forward and this is the overlook. So this is a, a seating area right at the front of the ship and it's nice, it's climate controlled, so it's nice and cool in here, but it's absolutely stunning. So Harmony and I have come and uh, we're at a silent disco. It's not gonna make sense to you on camera because you can't hear what I'm listening to. Are you excited? Yeah. All right, show us what you got. That's a macarena. That's what it looks like. Alright, another morning, another run on the same track. It's a beautiful day. Getting up on the second day after I've stayed up a little bit was a lot more difficult this morning, but gotta get it done, gotta get that run in. Only an hour, that's all I've set myself is to run one hour a day. Peace again. We are on our way to one of the pubs because there is a, there is a scavenger hub. I, I don't know what it involves, but when I know, you'll know. And I'm a little like creaky right now because I just woke up from a nap before going to do this. So I, I hope there isn't too much running involved. But whenever we do this kind of stuff in the afternoon, Harmony is the one with all the energy and I expend all my energy in the morning. So just getting up the energy to move in the afternoon is extremely challenging. We're gonna but, win. Uh, but winning is always the goal on these scavenger hunts. Oh god, Since, it looks like a lot of people are here. And there's a lot of people there at the pub. We're not gonna win. No, we're gonna win. So it turns out that we actually, I did, I slept through the scavenger hunt, but I didn't know it was when it was because in our cruise compass, which is the schedule they give you every day, it says 1.45. It's 1.45 on my watch, but 
I did forget that the clocks went forward last night and my watch didn't update. Because we went through a time zone. Anyway, because of that, we missed it. But it sounded a lot of fun talking to the people here. It sounded like you had half an hour to run around and get as much information as you could based on the questions that they give you. But next time, we'll see. What's up guys, today we are in Basseterre, St. Kitts and Nevis and I'm going doing an organized hike today. So I'm not just going off on my own and going for a run. It's a hike to the top of Mount Liamuega and it's a volcano, dormant volcano, I assume. Uh, it's about 1100 meters or 3700 feet high. And they say it's a very strenuous hike, but that's strenuous in cruise passenger terms. So uh, we'll see, we'll see how strenuous it really is. But I think we're gonna get some great views of St. Kitts and Nevis. So stay tuned for that. So guys, it took a little time to get here. It took about 50 minutes in this bus right behind me. But now I think we're at the base of Mount Liamuega and we're actually pretty high to start off. You can see the ocean right behind me. Uh, so yeah, we've cut off a lot of the hike and there is a lot of hikers with me right here. They've given us some water, so I think we're getting ready to head up. There was a little bit of rain on the way in, so it may be quite muddy. I do have my brand new, I've only run in them a couple of times, Endo Speed 4s on and they're white, so I'm hoping I don't trash them too much on this hike. Right, we're coming up on a pretty techie section of this trail. It's been pretty easy going up until now. And now we've got these roots. We have to climb over them. Yeah, this is uh, things are getting a little more exciting now. The rocks on the boat left and right for good traction up here, guys. Right, we made it all the way to the top that of extra peak over there, Mount Liam Wigger. Well, no trail, it's 600 feet down in the, the caldera. Is 600 feet down <coughs> that way, and it's quite a view. All right, let's, uh, let's do that backwards and head down. We made it back to the parking lot, the trailhead of the, the Mount Liamuiga volcano hike. Guys, okay, so I learned a couple of things. The first thing I learned is that the Saucony and Dolphin Speed 4 are horrible on the trails. Like, seriously horrible. Listen, I know you all know it's a bad shoe choice, but it was shocking how bad they were. It was kind of muddy, the roots were a little wet, and I was just slipping and sliding all over the place. But other than that, the hike was actually, it was surprisingly difficult. It was almost five miles, 4.86 miles, total ascent of 2365 feet, took us four hours and five minutes. So it was very challenging, but the challenging part was off put by it being painfully slow. So because you're with a tour group, they kind of have to go at the speed of everyone else. If I had had the chance to kind of race up it and then race down, it could have been done a lot quicker, made it a lot more of like a workout, but it was a solid hike. It was a solid hike. And to be honest, if I had gone out and done that on my own in the Endorphin Pro or Endorphin Speed 4s, I probably would have really hurt myself coming down the hill trying to run because it just it just wasn't ideal. But other than that, it was it turned out to be a really solid hike. And if you're ever in St. Kitts, yeah, if you're looking for like a four hour walk up in the rainforest up to a, a volcano, I think it's a pretty solid option. And actually, I think this hike was only 120 bucks. So it was a really good deal. All right, uh, that's it for now. I think we're heading back to the ship. It's a good vibes in St. Kitts. One and only lovely island. Yeah, we should have points here, man. So far, yeah, Paul! Yeah, that's the mountain goat there. A beer vibes. A beer vibes up there. Tell them what this be. Tell them what this be. Yeah, man. Rump on. Yeah, man. Yeah, Bungi Eye. Good vibes only. The volcano bar. And we have shoes that people didn't survive. We have their souls right here. Yeah. But the, the volcano bar guy. Show, show us where you're going here. Be a carib. All carib. When you come check, when you come volcano, just check the bars. Yeah. Large beer. Everything. Coke. Yeah. Can't come see them right here. It's a, just a lovely vibe up here, man. Shank it. I did a good video for you. you did. Bobby Six. Just mm. check me out Instagram. Bobby Six. All right. You heard it here at Bobby yeah. Six. One time. Shank it. One and only. Tell a friend to tell a friend to visit. Yeah. What's up guys? So today I actually just finished my run on St. Thomas. I went out and I ran over to Megan's Bay and then I came back. It was about 10 miles, 10.2 miles round trip. But I am going to make, I think I'm going to make a standalone video 
for that run kind of like a run adventure out to the beach and back so check out that video if it's not already out it might be out in a couple days or something like that all right i gotta say that my legs are absolutely trash from that volcano run and then the run over to megan's bay i did run this morning which is the day after the megan's bay run mm -hmm but it just, it wasn't a pretty sight. But this yes. is gonna be pretty exciting yes. because yes. remember this form, this is where we have to find staff members from all over the ship. I think we've done pretty good. Um, so it's called the Great Search for Nations. Stand by, because we're gonna see if we win in just a second. Okay, so we had 308 points. Right now they're about to announce the winners for the contest. They're getting ready to announce the top three best scores. I'm nervous too. With impressive. 329 points! Oh god. But it turns out we didn't even get in the top three. But we had over 300, so that's right. We had over 300. Second place! Not impressed. You heard, we did not win. We didn't even come in the top three. By the amount of points that the third place was ahead of us, I would guess that we came fourth, but I didn't even check. And you know what it is? Is that I thought we were so far ahead that I kind of stopped going for it every day up until this point. So I guess there is a lesson in that. You cannot take your foot off the gas. If you want to be competitive, you have to put in the work. And I think that we dropped the ball. But it was still fun going around and finding all the people that uh, were from different places. So I think that is a pretty good thing for people that come on this ship to actually do. I think I will wrap up this video here. It seems like a good place. Is there anything else I've got to show you? Uh, if uh, if there is, I will just add it to this video right now. Here it is. Here is the slide. Remember, I said I was going to show this to you. Here is a slide that goes down to the next level. So we're going to go down just so you guys can see it. I guess I have to wait for the kids to go first. <laughs> and there it is. All right. For now, be kind, be happy, run well. I will see you in a couple days.